Hi everybody, so today we're gonna try something new. Uh, it's not gonna be Jenga blocks. You never know during the part of the video I might change my mind along the way. So I'm gonna make some seahorses, um, not make them, I'm gonna do up a seahorse. I'm still in the nautical theme, I don't know why. I think I have one more idea that I'm gonna do and then that'll be done for this, uh, this year. But so, these are the dive sticks you get at DT. It comes in three. I have one drying right now because I wanted to test something on them. So we're gonna do three seahorses. Um, Dollar Tree and the kids in the seasonal section. They're super light. They're just uh, very, uh, they don't have a backing on it, but that's okay. Um, we are going to, now, I did try to use DT paint and it was really slippery. It was plastic. It was not coating very well. You might want to try, if you if you don't want to use spray paint, you might want to try some uh, Mod Podge on it, coat it first, and then doing it after. But by the looks of me using the spray paint, I really, uh, I really like the look of it. So it's drying. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to move it around on the thing. So I did use Bear. So just from my local hardware store, and it's a Deep Espresso. And you just want to make sure anytime you use spray paint, this one's paint and primer. And it's always I love using spray paint, especially painting some stuff that uh, so you don't have the lines and it looks more uh, solid. Now, this one's just the espresso, espresso, deep espresso satin finish, and it is the paint and primer. I am going to do a couple coats. I did two coats in the other one. Like I said, it's still drying really well. And once I get these ones done, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so I did paint the seahorses, and what I wanted to show you. So the next step, what we'll do is Dollar Tree has these little these little um, shells, the little pointed ones. And you're just gonna use some hot glue and you're gonna start at the front and you're gonna work yourself all the way down to wherever you want on here. Now, I've already did it because it's, it's a little bit, takes a little bit of time. So it ends up like this. Whoops, wrong one. Ends up like this. So it just glued all the way around. When I got a little bit lower, I started angling them towards the towards the bottom. You don't have to, you can place them on. It's easy enough to do, as you can still see. I didn't bother, you're not gonna see the back of these, so I didn't bother spray painting on the inside. But there's a little lip on here that you could do it's except when you get to the end here so on the the little edge here is where i put them i didn't put them underneath i put them right on top of the edge when i did spray paint the um, the seahorses i thought wow you know what would be cool if it had a little i guess a little fin so i did spray paint three of these um shells which you just get in a little pack from dt of all kinds and this is the progress that i finished one i did do the other paint i didn't put the rest because i wanted to show you but i think it turned out really cute um and i really like the look of it now i did put uh with the spray paint i found that with the shell it actually really absorbed the spray paint considering it's satin it really absorbed and looked really flat so what I did was I just used some, whoops, I just used some Mod Podge just to give it, and it's the gloss one. I just wanted to make it a little bit more shiny so that it matches the seahorse. So I think it turned out really well. So I'm going to finish these off and then we're going to move to the next step. All right, so you're going to need three bamboo skewers. Um, I believe these ones are just from Dollarama, but I know Dollar Tree has them. So you're going to need three of them for the seahorses. Now I'm hoping I can fit the, all three seahorses in this uh, display that I want to do. You're going to need to paint them. I used the Dollar Tree Pine Green. You're going to paint them. I've done the three already. Um, 
you're gonna paint them. You don't have to do right to the bottom. It matched more the color of the onion, what do they call these? The onion greens from Dollar Tree. So it matched in pretty well. So you wanna look like the seahorses are swimming. So I did paint them. Then I cut off three, just three long pieces as you can see here. I cut them off, then I glued it just with some hot glue. I didn't do all the way around. Let's see, where's my scissors? It's, I don't know why this piece broke off, but where the fold, as you can see where there's a bend right here, it's kind of like sits right on top perfectly. Hot glue it all the way down as much as you can go. There is gonna be a piece that sticks out here and that is totally fine. I have one glued here already. I think the hot glue kind of bent it here, but it's still on solid. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your, you're gonna take your, or I always wanna call it unicorn, I don't know why. I think because of the spikes, the Jingle Block unicorn that I made. And you're gonna position it. So my vision is kind of having, you know, them all on different kind of levels. So you're just gonna have to play around which level that you want to have it on and then you're just going to flip it right over see i didn't even paint the back of it and the part that you see the green on you're just going to glue it on the bottom and just hot glue and the same thing with the top depending on where you want it to go even if it shows the the green part here it doesn't matter because there's it's going to be all the onion things are going to be the onion greenery is going to be behind it, so it's just going to blend right in. So it's just going to look like this. I already did one, as you can see. So when you put it on, and there'll be that will be the background. Let me just grab one that doesn't have the tags on it. When you have it in the background, it's just going to blend in like it's swimming. So you can't even tell which one it's on just because the leaf blends it right in. Just uh, figure out where you want to put them all on there. Let me just switch up my desk here to show you the next step. All right, so there's different ways you can do it to build the base. I'll give you some ideas. So DT has these trays. The only thing I don't want to use about that is it's sunken in. So it depends on what you want to put. Obviously, I'm going to show you, but um, this was a, an option I thought, but I didn't like the, the indent that there's, a, a, uh, I guess, a step into it. Now, there's also the DT um, charger plates, which makes a good uh, idea. The only thing is, once again, but it is possible, but I'm just going to use this piece of, you can get a piece of wood. This is an artist tap. Uh, palette from Dollarama. I've just decided I'm going to use this. Um, so I'm going to take some floral form and I had two different kinds. One's from DT, one's I think the darker green one's from Dollarama and this one's from DT. I ended up cutting it because I was playing around with a couple different ideas but I'm just going to keep it like this. It's going to be covered so you're not going to see it. I am just going to hot glue it on and the next, once you hot glue that on, I'm going to put this big rock that I found. So, you know, rock at the bottom of the ocean. And I'm just going to mark it like, the only reason why I don't, I'm going to put do the hot glue and sand effect. If you've watched my Jenga block anchor, I'm going to do the same thing with the, the sand and the Mod Podge, not hot glue, sorry. I, well, you can put hot glue to make the lines. I'll probably do a second coat, which I would do then. But I'm just gonna hot glue that down. I am gonna trace where I am putting the rock. I will show you the other couple things that I am gonna put here. So I'm just gonna do it like this. I want the rock to be glued flat. So I don't really want um, the sand underneath. I want to make sure that this rock gets glued on. So I just kind of have the outline once I do that. And I'll just work the sand in the Mod Podge. All you do is just, for anybody that hasn't used Mod Podge, I'm sure we all have, 
you just paint it on like paint and you just put the sand on it. Plus it makes it easier when you're dusting it off to do so. I will not do this part as well. And just so it's much easier to do, just, oops, I'm just gonna do a line here. That I will just use those two areas here and here I will not put Mod Podge. So I am just gonna do Mod Podge. I am not gonna do the sides mod podge and sand on this i'm going to do that and then i will show you the next step all right so we're going to do the onion flowers so i was able to do i just did two coats of two coats of mod podge and once i had the rock glued on and closer to the edges i just took some more mod podge and added more sand so it's all the way around the next thing you're going to want to do is take your onion grass now i did cut it about halfway down depends how 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 thick your uh floral form is so it depends how tall you want to have it i mean it's still going to stick out so i cut them all half down i did that already you're gonna to have to use some wire cutters now i'm going to use seven of them and i'm just going to show you so then you're just gonna place them in here and I'm gonna have to straighten them because I'm on an angle guys and unfortunately YouTube only lets me do wide angle and you're just gonna place them <clears throat> excuse me like that all the way down into the back I already did the pre holes playing around with it this one seems so then it hides the stick as well, as you can see that they just look like they're swimming. I don't know why this one keeps pulling up. So I will hot glue those in. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do, so to hide the floral form, we are gonna put some reindeer moss and we're just gonna hot glue it around the edge of the floral forms on there. Then I just grab those anchors from GT and I just painted one brown, added some jute rope, and I'm probably just gonna stick it on a slant like this with the reindeer moss. I wouldn't use the floral moss because it is really crumbly and I just find that it's really messy and I just love the floral moss. I don't know, I'm a very big fan of that. Now the next thing you're gonna, depending on now how you wanna decorate down here. So I've already figured out, oh, where's my shells? I took two shells, you know, in the package you get from DT and I just glued them together like this, hot glued them like a, a clam opening up. I guess that's where pearls come from, right? And I just glued it like that. I gave it a coat of Mod Podge, the gloss one, just to give it a nice shine to it. So then you have it like this. And it came out really shiny. And I just grabbed, I had a big pearl in one of the packs that I had. So I am just going to put it inside the clam. And I'm just gonna put it down in front of the rock. I will play off camera with it. And the next thing you can do now with my vision, and I wanted to do with the anchor at the time, I couldn't find them. You can find those little DT wooden little boxes. You know, they're super small. They open up and they have a latch. I couldn't find any at DT, but I was luckily to find one at Dollarama, which, you can use if you want to omit that that's your choice i just thought it would look really cool with um with um sorry i'm having a <laughs> um a lost treasure i guess so to speak so you know like a chest of gold so i was able to find this one and the great thing about it it was already painted and it was from dollarama so i think it was like a dollar 25 which i thought it turned out perfect and it had the rustic look but you can get like I said the ones from DT and you can paint it whatever color you want and I just had some old coins from like Cuba and Mexico and I actually had this bar it's not going to stay in there I'll, 
I'll probably put it in there just for the picture to show, but this is actually just a, a silver Troy bar, pure silver from my grandmother. When she passed away, she passed this silver bar down to me. And I'm just gonna put it in front. And I'm probably gonna put a couple little shells. So I'm gonna play around and then I'm gonna come back and show you the final product. All right, everybody thought I'd show you what it looked like. I think it turned out really well. I think it's super cute. Got the little pearl, the little message in a bottle that sunk, the silver and gold. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have a great day and happy crafting.